Before we proceed with botnet creation, first we need to understand few points such as command and control server. So what is a command and control server which we call C2 server. Command and control server is a central component in a network of compromised computer. You can call it a central device where all the bots are connected and we send commands through the command and control server to control all of these bots. The primary purpose of C2 server is to act as a control center for maintaining and coordinating activities of the bots within the botnet. So what command and control server does is it sends the command to the botnets in our botnet network and it manages them in one place. So we can just type a command and all of the botnets will follow the command we give it to them. So it manages the bots, it updates the botnet software and it manages its overall performance. So a command and control server can be a very handy tool and in this video we will be learning how to set up a command and control server. The tools we will be using is Coviant which is the open source tool hosted on a github. So you can access this tool by going to this link. Covenant is a collaborative .NET C2 framework which is created for Red Team members. So Red Team is a team of security professionals who act as a black hat hacker and attack on the network offensively and the blue team which is opposite to red team blue team defends the attacks from the red team so all of the tools which are created for red teams are pretty much similar to what black hat hackers use this tool allows multi-user interaction which means you can add multiple users so they can access the tools interface this tool also supports multi-platforms such as Linux, Mac OS and Windows. So click on this GitHub link and you will land on this GitHub page. Here you can see, you can read the description if you want to. If you scroll down, you can see all of the features of this tool that they have listed here. This tool supports a lot of customization as it is developed in a C sharp. Also it supports multiple platforms. This tool has a lot of features. You can read it all on their github. You can access their installation options by clicking on installation and startup link. Here they have provided two installation options. First one is using .NET Core and second one is using Docker. So to install with .NET, you have to install the .NET 3.1 framework by going to this link. So click on this link and open the .NET 3.1 link. Here you have to select your architecture and installing type. So mine is Windows 64. So I will install Windows 64 which I have already installed. And along with this you will also need Git for Windows which you can download going to your search bar and searching for download git for windows click on the download button and here you have to select your os which you want to download it for click on click here to download button and it will get downloaded once downloaded you will have to install it like any other software just click on next next and install these both tools once installed you will have to open your git bash i will search git bash here and i will run it as a administrator click on run as administrator and this is the window here i will zoom in so you guys can see so first we have to execute these commands we have to git clone this repository so copy this command so first we have to go to our desired location you can type cd for change directory and the directory name which is desktop in my case so I will git clone this repository on my desktop. So I will paste this and hit enter. And as you can see, the directory already exists because I have already downloaded Coviant on my desktop. So I will navigate to that directory by cd directory name Coviant. And here you can see the another directory with the same name. So I will cd Coviant and Covenant. If I do ls, you can see all of the files in that repository here. So the next command is .NET run, which will use .NET framework to run this code. So go to your git terminal and go to the directory where Convent is and run the command .NET run. It will compile the project and give you a web address which you can access in your browser. 
which we can call web GUI of the tool. So it might take few minutes. So just chill and uh, wait for it. Now, as you can see here, it has given me a web address, which we can access from our web browser. So copy the address and I will open a new tab, paste the address here and you can see a login page. But if you are installing it for the first time, you might have to register and then log in into the covenant. So once you log in, this is the dashboard of this web app. Here you will find all of the bots, listeners you create and tracking. The C2 server is basically a interface where we receive all of the connections from our bots. So if you think from a traditional point of view, what would you do when you want to receive a connection from your payload? You would obviously create a listener to receive the connection on. So first we will go to the listener and we create a listener. I will change the name as my listener and the bind address is it is listening on all the address on our internet. So as you can see it is listening on 0000, 000, 000 which means all of the address on our PC are acceptable and I will change my listening port to 443 which is more suitable for this case. This is our bind port which will be used when making a payload. Also make sure you change the connection port which will send the connection to our convenient web app. So change this port to 443 as well. So this is the port where you will be receiving connections. So I will change it to 443 which is same as the bind port. Next here we have to specify the IP address where we want to receive an connection. If I go to CMD and if I type IP config to see my IP address. Here you can see this is my IP address which which is IPv4 address. So I will copy this address and paste it here. Once pasted, the link will get updated here. There are various methods you can add to customize this tool. But for the demonstration of this video, I will be going the easy route and I will click on create. Once you clicked on create, here you can see it has started a listener on our port and you can see the list of all of the present listeners in this menu. So now that we have started our listener, we have to create a payload. Grunts mean the active bots or active victims in this case. So we have to go to launchers to create our payload according to our machines. So here you can see all of the payload types that you can create. So for windows, you can choose any of these payloads you want. You can test and try using these payloads if you want to. But for the purpose of this video, I will be using PowerShell, which is very advanced and useful. So go to PowerShell and here you can click on listeners and select your listener, which you created. You can change the delay time by changing this value. This is the time which our agent takes to execute our command and checks for new command every 5 seconds so that it is not detected by the antivirus softwares in the PC. You can increase the delay time if you want to make it undetectable. Here you can see the parameters used in the PowerShell script. Window hidden is a parameter used to hide the PowerShell window and not shown to the user to make it more stealthy. So click on generate to generate your PowerShell script which we will send to the victim using any method such as word document or through the bat file which will then convert it to the image. So copy the PowerShell script by clicking on this icon here. Now go to your PowerShell. I will type PowerShell and run it as an administrator for the elevated privileges. Click on run as administrator. Here we have to paste the command. Now this is a very large command as you can see. So it might take some time. Now as you can see here, it has given us an error because antivirus is enabled in our device and it got detected. So go to virus and threat protection. You can obfuscate this script to make it bypass the antivirus software as we shown in our previous lectures. Go to real time protection and disable it. Now paste the script again and you should be good to go. Click on enter to execute the script. And as you can see, the window automatically disappears because we have selected window hidden parameter. Here you can see our new connection has been established with my PC. So if I go to grunts, 
here you can see a bot has been added to the list and you can see the information about my device click on this name here and you can see all of the information and all the parameters you can update click on interact and here you can type the commands to interact with your victim device and commands will show up you can go to task if you are not familiar with commands and here you can see grunt commands menu this is a drop down menu click on it and you can find all of the commands that you can execute with the victim pc such as keylogger i will select keylogger and click on task to give it a task so as the agent looks for incoming task every 5 seconds so it won't respond as in our pc so if i type anything here Let's see if it logs our keystrokes and it might take 5 seconds to respond so it is it can be pretty slow because it is looking if there are any commands every 5 seconds. So here you can see starting keylogger for 50 seconds. Let's type something again. If I type this is test. Let's see if it shows. Here you can see it shows this. Now it can take some time because it is looking for commands and tasks every 5 seconds so it cannot provide you quick responses as it provides in our terminal or command prompt go to the task again and here you can find all of the tasks let's try the screenshot task let's try screenshotting our victim device i will click on screenshot and click on task and in the menu you can see it has given us a screenshot now it took some while to take these screenshots. That's why I skipped this part. If I select the task who am I and click on task. Now here you can see it has tasked this command. It has returned us output in the first command and second command is task now. If you want to execute the custom commands such as IP config, you can select shell cmd and type in the command here and click on task so you can see when the command is given it is first in uninitialized state then it is tasked and looked for any other commands and after five seconds it returns us the output here and this is just a basic of what this tool can do you can play around with this tool this tool is very customizable and if you add any custom scripts you can even use it for advanced purposes so that's it for this video i will see you in another lecture